What I want to say to you today, gentlemen, is that you feel, if you feel that you are set adrift, I want to say to you this morning that the Lord your God has nurtured and fostered and managed and navigated that current for you to be here this morning so that you could respond to the call of the living God, so that you could reach your communities because those communities, in respect to their spiritual well-being, need your help because they are terminally ill because they have accepted the values of this world. You will be the man that will change that space for them, to be influential to them, to lead them to that space where freedom is present in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Are you with me this morning, man? Do you understand your purpose, your plan, your direction this morning towards transformation? Do you understand? You are charged with a responsibility as leaders to move in that space, gentlemen. To move. You know, last night, Paul, in his opening gambit, he said that you're not here by accident. This is a divine appointment for you. But not only is it a divine appointment for you, it's a moment for those in ministry to celebrate. And why do they celebrate? Because God knew us before we were born. Every speaker that speaks this weekend was raised, born in God, was given a skill set. Every worship leader that sings, every band member that sings, every technician that makes you able to hear it, to respond, they were all in born and raised for this moment, for you, so that you could respond. Not only is this divine appointment for you, but it's also a moment that we as people in ministry celebrate because our God is faithful. He is faithful. And people, gentlemen, you may be out there saying, I cannot do this. I need a miracle. God is in the business of miracle making, gentlemen. It is not impossible to walk on water. You just have to know where the rocks are. (laughs) Amen. Amen. And I tell you that the most significant rock that you could found yourself on is Jesus Christ, who is the rock. To stand on that rock is to know the true meaning and the significance of a real freedom. Thank you.